Welcome to IHS Energy, SEER Week On Demand 2014. My name is Alex Klein and I'm Research Director for Renewable Power at IHS. And I'm here with Mark Van Gerven, Senior Vice President of Strategic Marketing for First Solar. Mark, good to see you, welcome. Thank you. So, maybe to begin, uh, First Solar is a, a, a leading solar company. Uh, what do you see as the role for solar energy in the global power mix? Yeah, I think the role is twofold. Uh, there is a uh, replacement market, uh, as we're seeing in OECD countries. So there you see an increasing uh, role in solar on the distributed uh, generation level, um, moving from utility scale into other applications on the distributed side. In uh, markets where there is energy demand growth, uh, this is where we see room for utility scale uh, growth as well as uh, hybrid generation and energy access. One of the big changes in the renewables industry and solar in particular has been a very significant decline in the cost of solar over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, one of the consequences of this is that we've seen the cost of solar uh, fall so that it's economic often to displace diesel, oil fire generation, other liquid fuels. Um, to what extent is this uh, impacting your technology development and uh, strategy going mm -hmm. forward? Yeah, we are actively um, developing and deploying hybrid generation uh, solutions where basically the solar energy is used as a replacement fuel. So just by the uh, fuel cost savings alone on a hybrid plant, uh, solar actually makes economic sense today. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the drivers behind where you see uh, what's what's helped to drive down the cost of solar recently and maybe mm -hmm. where it's headed going yeah, forward? Yeah, there have been uh, significant advances made on the uh, efficiency side, but also the experience level has increased significantly, which uh, contributed to an overall system uh, cost reduction that, uh, that now is... Uh, you know, very, very much in line with most uh, LCOE uh, targets around the world. One of the really big drivers for solar, for renewable technology more broadly, is access to electricity, mm -hmm. uh, using solar as a way to um, uh, reduce the need to build long supply chains for, uh, for fuel supply, for uh, grid infrastructure. Uh, lots of places in the world uh, without access to electricity. Um, do you think the decline in the cost of solar uh, is uh, significant for these markets and how, would you, how do you expect some of the infrastructure in some of these markets where there's not a, a big uh, existing infrastructure in place, how do you see that evolving? Yeah. Yeah, one of the big advantages of solar is that it actually is uh, modular in a way. So it can be used to uh, scale with the demand. And as the demand is very low today in many of these economies, solar can come in and scale with the demand. Right. So I think that the uh, distributed uh, generation that now a lot of uh, developed countries are moving to um, in developing countries, there is an opportunity to leapfrog and not go through a centralized structure since it's not existent right now and just be on the distributed side from the very beginning and have a decentralized um, infrastructure. So we are already uh, deploying microgrids in uh, East Africa and um, this is done on a, on a commercial fuel displacement uh, basis. Mm, very interesting. So really the potential to be pretty transformational in a lot mm -hmm. of places. Yes. Well, very interesting discussion. Thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, thank you, uh, everyone at home, uh, for joining us here at IHS Energy, Sierra Week On Demand 2014.